Hello, everyone. Thank you, Zaji and Zubin. This is year three for them, uh, leading us here at SmartCon. So they're stars now. Well, hello, everyone. Um, I'm excited to welcome you to SmartCon 2024. And we're excited to be here in Hong Kong. We have attendees from all over the world coming. And then we have live stream uh, attendees happening as well. So welcome to you, uh, no matter where you're listening from. And we have watch parties happening all over the world. So uh, welcome, everyone. I also want to thank and welcome our sponsors, our speakers, and our conference partners. Without you, um, SmartCon would not be possible. So I'm the executive host of SmartCon, and I want you to know that all the team members here, they're wearing blue shirts, are here to make sure you have a great experience. If you need anything, uh, just find somebody in a blue shirt and say hello and uh, let them know what you need, and we'll do our best to help you out. Now, SmartCon was created to be a place where you can learn, someone, learn something, meet someone new, and then share ideas together with them. And so you're going to see a lot of places around this, uh, this property where you can just kind of sit and collaborate. So maybe you hear something really interesting in one of the sessions, and then we want you to go sit and collaborate and meet people and really understand kind of what everybody else is doing in our industry. And what is our industry, you might be asking? Well, uh, I'm glad you asked. We love, obviously, Web3, and we love crypto, and of course, DeFi. And without Chainlink, DeFi summer wouldn't have happened. And so we feel very connected to the DeFi community and the DeFi industry. But DeFi has always just been part of the Chainlink story. And the other part is just as important, and it may have some elements that you're not aware of. Um, in 2016, right after Ethereum launched the year before, and well before DeFi was even a thing, Sergey Nazarov, uh, our co-founder of Chainlink, who you will hear from on this very stage this afternoon, actually won the blockchain challenge at SWIFT. And if you don't know what SWIFT is, it is the organization responsible for the messaging layer for international payments and the global banking system. So back in 2016, Sergey was demonstrating an Ethereum smart bond, maybe an RWA, if you will, uh, eight years ago. So, you know, today, eight years later, the two chapters of this story, the DeFi side and the, the global banking side, are starting to converge. And that's really what our theme is for this conference. Throughout 2024, Sergey has been speaking across the world at the top Web3 conferences, but he's also been speaking at places like Cybos last week in Beijing, which is the SWIFT conference of local bank, of all the banks around the world. In fact, I was gratified because the Chainlink booth was right down the aisle from HSBC and the Bank of China. So this is now the world that we're living in. And in this room are DeFi leaders and builders who've innovated on crypto native assets, but also in this room are digital asset leaders and builders in banking and finance who are innovating on real world assets and putting those on blockchains. That's convergence and it's happening now. And that's why we're here, and that's why hopefully you're here. Chainlink is proud to be at the center of this industry that includes startups and financial institutions and governments and Web3 Anons all working together for the future of finance. And really, Hong Kong is the perfect place to have this conversation. It's a city that's known as a global financial center, but also an emerging hub of digital assets and Web3 innovation. And last year, one of the leaders of that here in this community, Mr. Joseph Chan, who's the Under Secretary of Financial Services and the Treasury for the government of the Hong Kong SAR, Financial Services and Treasury Bureau, came to SmartCon in Barcelona. And some of you were there. I've seen you and met you uh, and, and saw you there. And now you're here. And I really appreciate that. And Mr. Chan came, and he really started to understand how Chainlink is helping enable this future of finance. And he actually convinced us and invited us to come to Hong Kong for SmartCon in 2024. So thank you, Mr. Chan, for the kind invitation. And he's actually here. And I'm delighted to uh, introduce Mr. Chan to start uh, SmartCon and to kick us off here in Hong Kong. So thank you very much. Thank you. 